preached at Pentecost. Jesus said in John, I'll be the 15th chapter, he said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. Well, now, if that vine put forth the first branch, and out of that branch wrote a book of Acts, the second branch will make another book of Acts. The third branch will make another book of Acts. And every branch that comes out of that vine will be the same as the first branch was. Now, you can draft. We know that. I've seen it. And that vine bears grapes. The next branch comes forth. It'll bear just like the first branch did. Oh, you say, Brother Branham, but we look at all these churches. That's grafted vines. Now, you can graft citrus fruit. You can take an orange tree and put a lemon on it and it'll grow. That's what you, man grafted in. And these organizations is what man grafted in. It's a lemon all the time. It'll grow because it's stuck out in the church name. But let me tell you, if that tree ever puts forth another branch itself, it'll bear an orange. Amen. And if the power of God ever puts forth another church, it'll be another Pentecost, and another book of Acts will be right behind it. Because it's a church of God. Jesus said, I'm the vine, you're the branches. Spirit of God moving in the church and doing the same works in life that Jesus lived. If it's a peach tree, it'll bring forth peaches. If it's an apple tree, it'll bring forth apples. I don't care how the outside looks. It shows the life on the inside of it. It's what brings the fruit of it. You get a grapevine, you put pumpkin life into it, it'll bring forth pumpkins. And you change it right back and take a pumpkin vine, put grape life in it, it'll bring forth grapes. Whatever life is in it, I don't care what title it's got, Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterian, Pentecostal, whatever it is, take pumpkin life and put it into a grapevine, it'll bring pumpkins. If this is a Pentecostal church, you've got old pumpkin life into it, get it out and have a vaccination come back. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I see you got trees up here bring about nine kinds of different citrus fruit. See them over in Arizona today. There's an orange tree had lemons and all kinds of citrus fruit, grapefruit. That's the way it is. Jesus said, I am the vine, you're the branches. That's right. And if the first branch, now remember, the vine does not bear fruit. It's the branch that bears the fruit. Now, if that first branch come forth and produce the Pentecostal church, they wrote a book of Acts behind it. If that branch ever brings forth another one, it'll be the same kind of a Pentecostal church, have the same signs and same wonders. Now, but you say, what about these others? They're grafted. What about Matthew? I am the vine. Ye are the branches. Is that right? Now, you farmers, you Texans, Louisianans, and what you may be here, anyone that's got common sense and ever seen a vine grow, Know that the vine does not bear fruit. The branches of the vine is what bear fruit. But it gets its life from the vine. Jesus is our resource of life. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, we'll notice then that Jesus is the resource of our life and he's the true vine. The very life that's in the vine is in the branch. And if that vine puts forth a first branch, and that branch is a bunch of branches comes forth on it. If it ever puts forth another branch, it will be a bunch of grapes. Amen. It'll put forth another branch, it'll be a bunch of grapes. Amen. And it'll be the same kind of branch on to the end of the vine. Amen. Oh, God. Now I need my half off. Amen. 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 Every time that vine puts forth a branch, it'll be like the first branch. Why? Because the life that's in the vine will put forth the same type of branch. Yes. If the first vine grows grapes, the next won't bring pumpkins. Oh, the next won't bring citrus fruit. Amen. And then after a while, on down, I said it won't do it. If the true vine puts forth a branch, and if Jesus is the branch and the first of the vine and the first branch that brought forth, they wrote a book of Acts after it. Is that right? Yes. A Pentecostal church. Yes. The real Pentecostal church. Yes. And it wrote a book of Acts with signs and wonders following the believers. If that real true vine brings forth another true branch, they'll write a book of Acts behind it. Yes. yes. Him because that's who she is. Her life. Listen, when on the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost fell on the day of Pentecost, the life was given to the church. And that church went right out and produced uh, they wrote behind that church a book of Acts of what it did because it was Christ in the apostles. Now, Jesus said in St. John 15, 
I am the vine, ye are the branches. Now, the vine does not bear fruit. The branch bears fruit. It's energized by the vine. Now, if that limb, first one come out on that tree, produced a book of Acts, if that ever puts out another limb, it'll be the same way. Yeah. A few months ago, I was standing with my good friend John Sheriff up at Phoenix. I live in Tucson, as you know. 